Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to give an update on my mallet injury. Today is uh, January 23rd. I, <clears throat> I received this injury throwing football and my buddy, he was just throwing a spiral so well. He's catching the balls, I'm pretty athletic. And my finger stung. And so I was just like, you know, whatever. The ball just hit me. I kept throwing the ball. But then after one pass, I looked down and my finger, this one, the middle finger of all fingers, right? was bent down slightly. Well, actually it was all the way back like that. So anyway, I went to the ER New Year's Eve. <clears throat> Great way to start, start out 2020, right? And they told me that I ripped a tendon. So they put this, uh, this, this splint and they said I have to have it on until February 28th. So that's when I go back to the doctor. So if everything goes well, they'll just give me some, I don't know, some kind of uh, rehab for my finger. Worst case scenario, they'll drill a bolt or something, something steel to hold my finger in place and then we'll have to wait again to let it heal. So we're hoping for the best, we'll see what happens. Now since then I haven't been to the gym which sucks for me because I love going to the gym but you know it's okay because I'm gonna start doing some hit activities, I'm going to start running more, you know I work my legs so I just gotta work my legs out more. Um, so there's, there's still gonna be opportunities for that but to answer uh, to George Delgado, thank you for responding. Uh, I saw you were curious about the mallet injury, and I appreciate the advice too about the splints. At night, what I do is I wrap this finger with my other finger because I was sleeping one night and I woke up in the middle of the night. I looked at my hand and the splint was gone and my finger was bent again and I was in pain. So I was like, you know what, at night I'm just gonna wrap it so it's not moving. So that's one tip right there for anyone that has a mallet injury currently. And other than that, I just, you know, when I take a shower, I, I try to keep it dry. I change the, the bandage or the wrap once a day to keep it clean. And, you know, there, there isn't any um, penetration with the skin. Nothing is torn. It's all internal. So I'm not necessarily worried about getting it dirty, but obviously, you know, good hygiene, right? Practice good hygiene. So I appreciate the, the information, George. And we'll see. I'll give you guys another update. It's kind of difficult for me because I'm writing the script and so I, I cannot really use that middle finger. So I kind of got to, you know, type with this one and just boom, boom, boom. And it's difficult also, like I said, taking a shower. But, you know, life goes on. You got to stay focused. You got to stay positive. Never let anything bring you down and always find the positivity and negativity. You know, sometimes your body needs to break. My body probably needed a break from working out. I don't think my workout regimen had anything to do with the injury. But, you know, as you get older, you always want to rest. So I'm just taking that as an opportunity to go a little bit harder on my legs and my cardio. I threw some boxing in. You know, we were deadlifting. Um, we were doing uh, barbell squats. We were doing all kinds of things. And so now it's just giving my upper body an opportunity to kind of rest and to work more on my lower body. Work out Monday through Friday. And I usually do legs on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So now I just had to alternate my legs so no worries, we'll get through it. Um, right now for me, concurrently, I am writing a script loosely based on my childhood growing up in, in the neighborhood I grew up in, which was kind of, uh, you know, not, not the best neighborhood in the world. And I'm also editing a, a thriller or a slasher, I should say, that I did with a buddy of mine. And that was back in, I don't know, October, November. So we're still in the uh, pre-production phase of editing that. Or at least, I, you know, we're getting that going. And on top of that, I'm going to submit a homeless documentary that I worked on a few years back. You know, I showed it to a couple people. They were like, hey, you know, let's put this out there. So we're going to submit that on filmfreeway.com. And um, other than that, if you guys have any questions when it comes to parenting, eating healthy, eating clean, health regimens, you know, I don't have all the answers in the world. But what I can tell you is I'm 36 years old. I'm a father. I was in the military. So I do have certain what we call um, in Spanish consejos, which are pieces and forms of advice. So, you know, and I can learn from you guys too. So that's why I said, that, you know, George, I appreciate the information. Um, always want to learn off of each other. Never use the excuse that you're getting old. When you stop learning, you stop growing. So I'll leave it at that. Make sure that uh, you guys stay positive. Surround yourself around positive people that uplift you, that are accountable for their actions and also hold you accountable for yours. So, hey, I'll see you guys soon. Someone's pulling me up, so I got to go. And that's Montoya Media. Look out for the podcast. We're working on that coming this spring. Take it easy, guys.